welcome, this is going to be a tutorial on how to download and to use MC Skin 3D and that is this program right here and this is just one skin I've made off this to show that yes you can make a ton of skins off this and it does work very nice, this is the one that I use for most of my skinning and we'll just jump right into the downloading so the first download in the dis er, link in the description is going to be to Planet Minecraft and it's a uh, post made by Peril and it's the MC skin download and what we're going to do is just going to hop down and go to the latest version and click download dot zip version and that's just going to start and that's going to take a few seconds to download and I'm just going to throw that on my desktop for you guys so you can see that really easily so as soon as that's done we'll just put that down and it's gonna take a few seconds so don't be nervous if it doesn't download immediately so there we go so we got that right there so we're not gonna need this tab anymore so we can just exit out of that so now we need to double click to open and then double click MC Skin 3D and this is going to say it needs to do some stuff so just click extract all and extract and that's all you need to do and this is going to take just a few minutes to get all the stuff extracted and it's going to make a new folder on your screen which you can just I'm going to move it next to my other one just so you guys can see what you're supposed to be clicking on alright so that's done here's the new file that's been extracted now you see a little 3D sign so we're going to exit out of both of these just so you can see what you're going to click on to get into it so you're going to double click the new folder and then click MC Skin 3D and you don't you can uncheck this because you don't want that to appear every time you run it alright so it's going to be opening for the first time and here you'll see a bunch of skins that are already made here and just things you can work off of and you can delete these it's fine you're not going to get in trouble but um, now we just need to let's go into nights it doesn't matter and we're going to click this which is new skin here which is what we're going to do. I'm just going to make this black just so we can see this better. And the first thing I'm going to do is go over all the tools that we have up here. So this one is save, I think you know. And there's just, you can save everything you have and then upload. You can upload to a website. Now the next one is undo. Say I want to give this guy a nice red smiley face. Oh no, the eyes are too high. You can just click undo. Simple as that. Undo. But you want them back, just redo. The next one is camera. You can zoom in and out of your skin by your scroll mouse. Same thing up here. And by left clicking, you can also zoom in and out. Or this is right clicking. Right clicking. Right click and drag. Zoom in and out. And then left click drag is just drag around. You can change your viewing. Next is the pencil, which if you right click and drag, you can move it around, but left clicking will actually draw on your skin. And you can draw in here, you can also draw here. Okay, next is the eraser, which does exactly what you think it would do, is it erases. So we can just erase everything we don't want. One thing that happens when you erase is that it'll make your skin kind of disappear so when I don't want an area I usually just color it black so I know when to come back because I like to see my whole skin so as soon as I fill this up it'll just pop back up there we go so we have gorgeous skin right now next one is dodge and burn we're actually going to color this different color just so you guys can see oh that's a little bright all right to dodge it's basically making your skin a little lighter it's like you left it out in the sun and it bleached itself it just gets lighter every time you do that and burn is the same thing except darkening so you can just do that over and over and you can increase the intensity or you can decrease it just your own preference how you want the skin to look and lightening and darkening it's the same idea except it's adding white and black right onto the color so that's lightning, here's darkening. Simple as that. And you can increase exposure and whatnot. And if you see the brush, that's just changing brush size. Alright, the next one is fill bucket, which I've used a few times already. We can just find a nice color on the color wheel. And I'm actually going to make this full screen for you guys. 
and just click left click and it will fill that up another thing you can do is if you don't want to use on this you can go on your actual skin itself and if you hit control you can fill in everything <clears throat> it'll just fill in what's on that area so if I have a line that extends here um, we can just go to let's t turn off the arms line that extends here if we go to fill bucket and hit control it'll only oh, we want to change that color it'll only fill in what's on the stomach and it won't extend over there and this dropper it just if you left click it will copy that color so that's really helpful I have to use that a lot next is noise people like to use noise a lot for coloring or shading I don't really think noise is shading but it's if you're in a hurry it'll just randomly add colors <clears throat> and this is just me holding down and coloring this whole area in it just adds a variety of shades of this blue color you can see that there a lot of people like to use that for their hair and things like that next is stamp and this actually took me a while to figure out how to use the stamp um, I suggest that you just go to a square and what you have to do is you hold down shift and then you left click and then you let go of shift and it'll be whoop alright let's get this again we're not on shift anymore okay. I mean stamp so there we go we've got that right here so you can stamp this wherever you want okay next is perspective that'll just turn it to just looking at your person this uh, texture just looks at the format like picture what others will see when they download it and hybrid which I use is both so you can see what you're doing both at once this is just gonna reset all your cameras that is a screenshot and this these um, body parts are very helpful what they do is they'll turn off turn on things like that so if you wanted to see the inside of the arm you could see that in there color that what you want and then these that are shaded what you have to do is we'll save this as new skin just so it doesn't screw up when I do this this human you can turn this into any mob any you can even turn it into a pony you can turn it into we're gonna go to passive and do human 1.8 what we have to do now this is the 1.8 skin system and now these buttons are now colored because you can use these now this extends a ton further and now this will turn on and off when we have something here let's color something on the front so that's actually the armor layer so that'll turn on and off and that's for every every one of these and now let's do this these little controls over here here this is basically zooming in and out of whatever you want to see on here import here is just importing a skin from that's that you downloaded and you want to put it in here that you've made maybe on a different software you can just import here and it just opens up and you just have to search like we'll just import that one that one if I want that here next one is new skin which is just creating a new skin that automatically defaults to just human but you can again just change it to anything else you want up here the next thing is a new folder say I want new folder we can name this my skins just so you don't get confused if you want to keep all of these this one is I can rename that to my skins 2 if I wanted this would be delete so we can pick a skin and just click delete next one is clone this I use this a lot you just clone the skin if you want to do like slight modifications say I want to for some reason give her red arms we can just do that and it'll be good because I'm not doing it to my actual elf that I have it's just a copy so I can do whatever I want so now she's got some beautiful red arms the next one is decrease revolution I don't yeah <laughs> I don't know why you would really need this one but this just decreases the revolution a ton so we're gonna you get all these same controls here if you right click it so we're just gonna clone this again and we can increase the revolution so now if you go into one pixel it'll be 
one fourth of the size of a normal pixel. So we can come up here, make this gem more detailed if we wanted to. And this is good for people who like to make like high definition skins. This is just pretty convenient that it can go to high definition. And then what we can do here is fetch from Minecraft, which you can do any player name you want. I'll just do mine. So there we got that. And oh, where'd it go? Oh, okay. Oh, I already have it, so I don't think it's not it's not gonna work. So let's delete all of these that I have. Yep. And we're gonna fetch from Minecraft. Okay, that's not working right now. We'll do. Okay, where we go? Fetch from Minecraft. We'll do just a random name. Here, let's do what skin. I did this guy's skin recently. So we can just do whatever skin he's got. Okay, that's not working right now. That's really weird. I don't know, but that should work on your guys's. All you have to do is you fetch, you click that button, you just do a player name, and it'll steal their skin from them, basically. Alright, and parts is basically everything that's up here. It's just better if you're doing mobs or something, it goes further in depth. That's something you can use. And these are all the basic controls and everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if this was helpful to you at all, please leave a like just so other people know that this can actually help them. And thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this was helpful.